and welcome to Beauty Busters here on Guru Hub. I'm Annalie Bell and today we are trying out the infamous silicone blender. So this is how it comes. It has two silicone blenders in one package. I think it was a pretty good price. You get two of these for $7 or so. There's some instructions on the back. I think they're instructions. They're in a totally different language. I have no idea what it actually says. You just peel this little thing open and they pop out and you have your little chicken cutlets. And if you don't know what chicken cutlets are, ask someone with boobs. They basically go here to bring the boobs up here. This one came as a recommendation from Jeannie Gaines over on Facebook. She said she was interested in seeing how it worked and I actually have been looking at this product for quite a while. I love using my fingers to put my foundation on, but one problem, especially with having nails, is that you get foundation built up under there and if you're using a good full coverage all day wear foundation, it is hard to get out. And I can actually feel them warming up to my hands, so I think this will be really nice for foundation. I'm a little skeptical at this extra bit hanging off. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, but we'll see. For my foundation, I actually mix the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer uh, because I like a pretty full coverage. I like the finish of this one, but I like the coverage from this, so I mix them. One thing I hate about mixing them is if I mix it with a brush, a bunch of that product absorbs into the bristles. So, I'm gonna actually mix these two together with the sponge since it's not porous. I think it'll do a pretty nice job. If it doesn't, then that just doesn't make sense. And of course, it's mixing them together perfectly. Amazing. I love the way this feels so much. It's like, it's like a little stress ball from fingertips. So I like to put it on pretty thick where I need the most coverage. I think I might've put a little bit much on, so I'm gonna kind of just wipe some of that off and put it back on the palette. <laughs> It's really weird when I do the initial swipe, you can see right here, it's like, you can see my pores really bad. My pores are not, well obviously they are that big, but they don't normally look that big. But I do notice the more I work over it, it goes away. This is a full ass coverage. If you did not want a full coverage with this, uh, you better not have a full coverage foundation. I don't think you can really share it out too much because it just, it just blends the product like exactly where you place it. I am finding it's a bit hard. Oh, did you see that? If you scrape down at all, the little seam of the blender like catches and messes up your foundation. So you have to make sure that you don't use that seam. I wonder if it's better to use the other side. Uh, no. I'm also noticing it's pretty hard to get like in the nose area. It's also a bit difficult to work around the eyes especially around the eyebrows. I feel like if you're using the silicone blender, you probably want to do your eyebrows afterwards, not before. I mean, this is amazing for a full coverage. Like, if you want to see the difference, that's, that is a beat face. The only thing I'm finding a bit difficult is like blending the edges of stuff. I always blend down my jaw and chin, down in my neck a little. And it's actually not looking too bad in the eye area. Oh, I just noticed I got some on my lash. The control aspect of this is not wonderful, but it's it's not the worst. I keep getting so tempted to use my finger to pat places in, but I'm not going to because I'm not testing my finger today. So do feel like it does better when you pat it rather than swiping it. Uh, so you can see it's getting a bit patchy over here and it's getting a little streaky. So you do want to be careful working your eyeshadow area. Can't quite get the nose area to look how I want it to. It's not as perfect as I'd like. It's so caked inside my nose. <laughs> it's a little messy right in there. I'm gonna wipe all the extra product off this and go ahead and do my concealer. Okay, verdict's in. I don't know what you think, but I know what I think. I'm gonna grab my mirror, go over some things. I really love the way it applied the foundation on my cheeks where I have a little bit more plumpness going on. I got a really beautiful full coverage. It made everything blend seamlessly. But this little lip here, that little weird edge, definitely caused some issues because it kept catching and dragging and leaving marks. I couldn't get it to taco very nicely and get in the corners or in the nose area. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to give this a three star. It's right in the middle. It wasn't awesome, it wasn't terrible. All that being said, I am gonna keep using this product. It's not my favorite thing ever, but I think it's a nice thing to add into my routine to save my fingers from getting as messy as they normally do. It's one of those things that's a matter of preference. If you like the idea of it, you think it's gonna work well, go for it. If it's not your jam, you'd rather buff or use a beauty blender, just stick with that. As always, thanks for joining me for another episode of Beauty Busters here on Guru Hub. We will catch you in the next video where I try before you buy.